Hi everybody, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. It is day 22 of my 28 day mini challenge. This one I've called Lady in Red, but it is a flamenco passion. Now what a journey this feisty little lady took me on. Now it's been over six years since I painted uh, one of my dancers just so you're aware when i used to do my oil paints and i was known in australia it used to be um, more of the people's side but especially people who are dancing and the reason being i just want i couldn't do it and it was hard and i like a challenge two the poses were just amazing and my goal was always to try and capture movement in the piece of work whether it be the dance, whether it be the background, uh, and improve my skills. So I am having to dust off a few cobwebs and learn this skill again, because like any muscle memory, if you don't practice painting something or drawing something, you can lose that memory. You can get it back pretty quick, but you can easily lose it. So me being Sharon and not having a lot of time, decided to do something that was quite complicated. But not only complicated, on a tiny little canvas where it's very hard to control. So, as you know from the one before where I did my Prince Charming, I fell in love with these acrylic um, paint pens. And I thought, you know what, let me see if I can use them for this piece because it might be easy for me to control. And started with the body part and thought, okay, this is, this is not too bad. But as I started to do the skirt and the background, I realized it was a little bit too harsh. So I decided to still keep going with it just to guide me when I came in with my acrylic paints. Um, I decide to work on areas that are going to give me the best satisfaction to start with. Because if I start with the most uncomfortable areas like the face and the hands, I might not enjoy the process as much or may be tempted to give up easily whereas if i paint areas that help me bond whereas you'll have saw with the frog i painted the eyes first um with my oceans it's normally the skies um so i have a reason for it and that is to give me encouragement to not give up now i am going to skip forward some of the coloring in period you get the drift of what i'm doing and the reason being because i don't keep it like this and i add my acrylic paints over i'm just trying to save you some time so this i'm trying to work on the movement of where this flamenco skirt will be she's just spun around and and i don't know uh had a dramatic pose for you all with that passion so i'm trying to think about where would the layers be where would the flow be where would it look like she's just finished spinning round? And I'm working with reds, blacks and orange at this stage just to try and give me little bits of tones. Um, you'll see me come in and I paint the background quite harshly in back. It was originally like a cream or a brown. And then I decided I didn't like it. So I went over with black. And that's when I realized that the black was too harsh. The shoes I originally painted was going to be nude, but it for me, it, it wasn't going to work, so I decided to have them red. <laughs> this was interesting. As I'm painting the black, I think, well, the hair's going to disappear into this. So let me do a hair grey to start with, and then I can understand where it is. So at this point, you've seen me. I've gone over my acrylic paint, um, should I say the pens, in the background with a black and a white, and I've tried to smudge it. Now, you might think, well, why, I, why are you smudging it? Well, I read and saw in my art that when you keep your brush strokes with um, quite a lot of movement in them uh, so they're quite rough and not smooth it helps you with the mind tricking it that there is that sense of movement so I settled on that I thought a fairly nice grey stroke back background will add to the dramatic effect of this red dress and the movement you can see I've left a little bit of shadow under where her feet are and the dress uh, and sort of an illusion that the back area, you can see where the floor ends and uh, the sides are. Now that's just a suggestion to help ground her in her dance and add to that dramaticness. I'm rotating in four different reds in here and even a bit of orange. The darker obviously where I'm going to have the shadow, the orange is the lighter area where I feel that there's going to be light and I keep working backwards and forwards and 
I cover all the dark areas up to start with because my in my mind I'm thinking, well, maybe it just needs to be a darker red rather than the harsh black. But I end up coming back with the black. Maybe I could have used purple uh, just to help with that dramatic uh, effect of movement in those um, dress pleats. I don't know what you call them. Let me know. Anyway, Paula, I must be channeling you and your Spanish, um, you know, adventures that you'll be going on when you move out there. Anyway, back to the painting. Anyway, before I do that, I hope you are well. I hope you are safe. I hope the world is being kind to you. Thank you all so much for your support. If you're enjoying seeing this mini canvas, 10 by 10 centimeter inch with all its challenges, uh, please consider giving me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing. And yeah, comments and shares really do help my channels. So what do I want to talk about now? Firstly, I want to say, Rebecca, I hope that you are having a good day. And if you do try those pens out, let me know how you feel. They are so much fun. Oh, the dogs are having a full on scrap at the moment. Um, and thank you for your, sorry, I'm trying to calm them down. Anyway, they've quietened down a little bit, but because I am now back at work, I don't have time to re-edit it. And it is 10 to 11. This has to be done and uploaded to YouTube because I'm working tomorrow, so I won't have a chance to do it. And I need to work on my next piece tomorrow to upload for the next day. Oh, the joys of setting myself this challenge. Anyway, what was I going to say? Yes, Rebecca, let me know how you go with those pens. They were so much fun to work with. They they were just so tranquil, just took you back to your childhood memories when you're colouring in, but they are not like crayons or felted pens. They actually blend beautifully. And thank you so much for sharing your experience with your fur babies as well. It makes me feel like, uh, you know, sometimes they just have... Um, uh, what is it that you said? A uh, sweetly disposed um, lapse between the ears. I think that's what uh, my two have as well. Uh, thank you, Sherry, also for watching my video and sharing some positive feedback. Really appreciate it. Little Lulu, as usual, thank you for your support. I'm glad you enjoy the adorable fella. And Miss Paula, yes, it is very green and googly eyes, but thank you for acknowledging I did a good, great job uh, and that you enjoy the talent. And here's me trying to talk while the dogs are having a full on uh, bite again, but hopefully you can hear me and hopefully it's not taking you away from your relaxation and you can understand the stress that I'm under getting this video ready for you all to hopefully enjoy. Anyway, you can see I'm trying to work loosely with where the ruffles will be to help with that movement. I'm trying to bring in some highlights, low lights, and you'll see me just doing that dance. I don't really change the backdrop um, or the back much. Once I finish her dress, I more or less keep it as it is and just come in with some highlights just to help make it pop and help play with that uh, light source. Uh, a funny thing is trying to paint her face was so interesting because by the time your bristles touch the canvas you've already got a mark on there and that's nearly took up that whole face space so it's not the most aesthetically pleasing face but i think you get the uh, feminine and the passion coming through she's got nice little pink cheeks and the hands um the when you're looking at it on the screen the left one so the one that's more down uh didn't come out too bad but oh my god the right one that you'll be looking at as you look for the screen it took me two hours so i did not show you that it took me two hours of going backwards and forward all the painting was done in say i don't know an hour the hand one single hand mini hand took me two hours to work through until I found an acceptable hand. It still looks weird. For some reason, I just couldn't get my head around it. I'll probably go back and uh, work on it myself later. And I had to keep reminding myself, it's not perfection, it's sharing it with you. And it's part of the challenge. And the most important thing to me was the dress, the positioning uh, and the facial expression. But 
Oh my god, I keep thinking just weird hand, weird hand. Um, apologies to anybody who do have any uh, problems with their hands. This is me just talking about my painting. I just couldn't get my perspective right. And you think, oh my word, I've just done all this great work, in my opinion, and to stumble at just that one little feature. So I packed it away for the night, having worked on it very late. And considering it was my first day at work, I didn't want to be working on it too late, but I did. It was 11.30. So I packed it away, came home tonight and managed to finish it off to an acceptable amount out um and did the highlights edited the video and got it up for you still not 100 percent happy with it uh, I, I it's just like if you ever seen austin powers where they go moly 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 i'm just going hand 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 when i look at it but you know if i really hate it which i don't but if i did i could have always stuck a fan there or try and put a hand in a different position but i'm going to finish on the commentary there and me digressing because i really did digress i hope you're enjoying just a little bit of commentary on these videos there is some more where i talk through some of the challenges in real time uh, but in between that i'll put a little bit of um calming music hopefully that'll relax you if you have any questions around this let me know i'd love to know if you can see movement in this piece and and what you think of it it's one of those that from a distance looks way 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 better than close up but thank you for all your support have a lovely day see you on the next one and don't forget to let me know if you've got any requests for color schemes or things to work on all right bye bye So, mm, I'm having to leave this here while I go and cook food. She's took a little bit longer than I thought, just trying to get that movement in the dress. And I'm kind of putting on the acrylics like it's oils. Uh, so that's quite interesting. And I'm going to come and work on her skin tones and her face expression. Love, love, love the little flowers in the hair. Uh, there's going to be very little details on the face, but I hope I create that sense of movement in the dress, the depth, and hopefully expression on the face. So see but zeus is absolutely being a pain and he's taking me out of my zen i'm getting stressed so time to walk away cook some food and come back later bye bye okay so now comes the hard part which is skin color and it has been six years since i've painted skin on a uh, canvas so again just remind yourself when you're doing this it's about um, a suggestion this is not necessarily 
fine art in detail or anything like that but as long as you can understand what it is i'm trying to do and hopefully anatomically she will look in proportion but i will get on with this i'm undecided whether to put her shoes as nude uh if it's black it's going to blend in so i think it's going to be red with a dress but obviously i'll bring black bring back this black area so it's her foot and i've lost one of her shoes under there so i might try and lift the skirt up a bit uh, and reveal her shoe so we'll see how i feel as i go through this but yay i'm enjoying this quite abstract but at least the dress looks like it's moving
<laughs> sorry for my nails but as an artist i've always got dirty hands okay this one is done and i absolutely love the movements the emotion the dress the ruffles even a face um the hand on the left that one there not too bad the hand on the right i just couldn't get it right for the pose that she would be doing in this uh so it's very abstract and if you look really close it looks really minging but is that a really if, if you look really close it looks really mm, abnormal however uh, i'm gonna leave it and sit on it because you know when you just think right just let it go i need to get my video up and at the end of the day it's more around this section here oh move that around and even doing her suggestion of what her face or where her face would be in the um smallness of this piece was very very hard but Love her roses in her hair. I actually love the pinkness in her cheeks and everything like that. And the dramatic pose. I'm so sorry about her hand. I'll try and work it out to finish that later. And I might come back and show you on another video. But I think she's lovely. So here she is in a weird angle on my wall. And I just love the emotion in that. Troublesome hand and all. And if you just, I think you can tell she's a Spanish dancer with that ruffle. And she adds a nice bit of dramaticness and quirkiness to my wall. Oh, he went live last night. A little Prince Charming. Uh, so, yeah, fill your world with colour. And I hope you like the passion of the dance. Come back and see where I create tomorrow. Bye bye.